I'm very happy to actually sit here to receive you and that we are contributing to actually the youth agenda of this country. I'm very happy to hear that in our midst there is just somebody who has turned 18. I think that yes. is amazing. And there is somebody who is also just exiting the youth. <laughs> the youth <party. laughs> <laughs> so, so this is a well representation of actually the constitution of Kenya Article 55, did you? Yeah. And I'm very happy. And we were able to contact, conduct the consultative processes through um, Zoom platform meetings where we were able to do the first and second national youth dialogue. We were also able to disseminate online survey forms and we were able to reach the young people who are not able to maybe get bundles to be able to participate in the Zoom platforms. And as a result of collecting all these diverse views, we were able now to develop this joint memorandum, which is before us. And I'll just highlight some of the key issues that are raised by the young people during the consultative process. Number one, under the section on election committees, the young people felt that it's important that the guidelines give a clear mechanism by which members of the election steering committees at the county and the national level can be able to exercise the highest level of credibility and impartiality. That was very, very important. So the guidelines should be able to clearly stipulate how these members will be able to ensure that they are able to conduct a free and fair election. Another thing is in terms of the composition of the steering committees. It was important that the election guidelines conforms to the two-thirds gender rule so that we don't have a member of a particular gender composing the total constitution of the committees at the county and the national level. The other issue that was very important was in terms of having the youth officers chair the election committees at the county level. The young people said they did not have trust in the youth officers. Therefore, they wanted the county representative of the IBC to chair the election committees at the county level. In the same manner, the presiding officers, there needs to be a clear criteria for which the presiding officers are being appointed. Otherwise, the young people feel that it's important that they have trust in the election process. In regard to voter registration, the young people felt that voter registration should be conducted both physically and digitally. So that if a young person is in Nairobi but he wants to buy in Busia, he can still register when seated in Nairobi. Another issue is in terms of the period between which voter registration closes and the beginning of the election starts. It says that it gives a two-week uh, timeline period and the young people felt that two weeks is insufficient time, that the young people want a, at least two months prior to the election, the voter registration process is closed and a verified list of registered vote voters is published so that people are able to verify that their details are accurate and they are also their names and details are included in the voters register. In the issue of the nomination of candidates, this is a very important area for so many young people. And one of the main concerns of the young people was that education qualification was being used to restrict so many young people out of the nomination process. And therefore young people want the bachelor's and the post-secondary education qualification removed from the county delegate selection and the National Youth Congress election so that the KCSC certificate is the only standard that we need from the ward level election all the way to the National Youth Congress elections. Another issue is in terms of the age. Young people felt that by giving um, an age bracket of between 18 to below 35 as a qualification for somebody to nominate themselves as a candidate for the election was giving young people who are nearing the end of the age limit an opportunity to serve, yet they cannot be able to fully serve till the end of their terms because they'll have to vacate once they reach 35 years old. Therefore, we said, they said that they want the age limit to be capped at 31, so that it's 31 years and below are the only people who can be able to vie for the election, so that the people who can vie can be able to fully serve their term, that is three years, and people can be able to go home and replace themselves. On the issue of um, the digital and electoral voting, 
young people felt that especially section 19 and section 22 of the election um, voting system, which provides that a voter can be able to change their vote before the end of the election period. Young people felt that this was an opportunity to uh, that will lead to vote rigging. If somebody can be able to vote maybe in the morning and then change by midday, it can it gives a window for vote rigging. Therefore, every voter should be able to cast, cast their vote once, and there is no window for changing their votes. Once you've voted, that's it. We should have at least uh, the, the national uh, committee should have at least nine representatives instead of having sixteen, because they found out that having a, a group of 16 in the National Council, it might be a big problem to manage and also to work together with the Secretariat. I think that is the only thing that we had left out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and they fully recommended that the ministry adopts the recommendations and also considers the issues very keenly so that young people feel that they are part of the election process. Thank you. Thank you, Irene and Andrew. Uh, maybe just to add on it, uh, to add on the recommendations, and one very important recommendation that we are pushing for is regarding uh, the voter register. The voter register, one, it should be published at least two months to the elections uh, as uh, instead of uh, two weeks as it is proposed. Let's go with the previous provision in the 2011 guidelines where it provided for the register to be published uh, at least two months. Uh, secondly, regarding the voters, uh, there is a provision that provides that uh, uh, the voter register should uh, capture the highest level of uh, education uh, for the young people wishing to vote. So we don't see that as a requirement. It shouldn't be an important requirement for to indicate the highest level of education for someone to vote. As long as you are a young person in this country, whether you are a class one dropout, whether you are a PhD holder, but you are a young person within the youth bracket, you need to, to just vote. So remove it, that uh, that provision on the on the highest level of education, it should be removed. Allow me to say that I'm very humbled. When uh, I saw this discussion being brewed or being uh, the the idea behind it, trust me, I didn't see it culminating into this big. And I believe, as youth of this country, if we just are progressive, like my brother normally says, like this then we have a lot to gain for our generation and the generation that is going to come for after us. Allow me to appreciate that I'm humbled. Even just the way I've been attending those meetings in Cognito, because I didn't want to be the center of discussion. You know, I've been in WhatsApp groups where once people know, <laughs> once people know that I am there, then the discussion becomes myself. So I said this time round I will take a back leadership. In fact, when uh, Nora and uh, Andrew and uh, Irene told me that they want me to be part of the second, yeah, the no, second dialogue, dialogue. Yes. I was very hesitant because I realized when I just come there, and you you notice what happened, eh? yeah. when I just almost the discussion almost changed. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody yeah. even somebody even telling telling us. Why is it the incumbent uh, speaking? <laughs> Why is he lecturing us on this uh, election guidelines? And I'm not an incumbent. I'm not even buying. <laughs> I'm not even. I'm, I cannot even qualify to to buy for that seat. I'm just a public officer. So I said, uh, sometimes it's also learning a wake up call that uh, when it comes to issues uh, of youth, as much as us we are youth, you know they forget that I'm also a youth. I think they think that uh, I came in with the previous regime. I've served, <laughs> I've served my time, and my time has lapsed. So allow me to appreciate uh, each one of you, even just for creating time to contribute in this deliberation, and just to make sure that you've been there actually to see the final thought, well thought, put in paper, and presented. Allow me just to appreciate also the level of genius muko now i've just heard irene mention those issues without no diary with no notebook fuck i was wondering <laughs> what was she grabbing these issues or something huh?
Habari zenu? Nzuri sana. Niko salama? Kabisa. Poleni sana sikuweza kujoin. Uh, I'm held up in another meeting. But uh, I know my CEO is representing me very well and representing the ministry as well very well. Yes. And I'm very very proud of not only you guys but the entire youth of Kenya especially you putting the memorandum together and now coming to hand it over to NYC ni kazi nzuri sana so asante ni for doing it for not only uh you guys but for the entire youth of Kenya and unajua mimi ni representation yes well okay yes i i speak on your behalf i represent you all and uh, i do believe that the fact that we are almost 75% Um, there is so much that we are going to do together. So from my side, I will just uh, open my hands and my office to you guys and to always send you any time you're welcome and any time we can work together. Sawa, sawa. Yeah. Okay, thank you, CS. You're welcome and I hope to meet you guys. Mutambia CEO, maybe you can arrange another time I can meet you. Specifically, yes, he was he was proposing that uh, once we submit the memorandum, we are going to have a few representatives uh, on board to ensure okay. that these recommendations are well catered for. They will be included, yeah. So, perfect, perfect. so we hope that we will meet with you in person. Yeah, definitely, definitely, and I do hope as well you are working closely with the CEO and I'm support. Yes. We fully support the CEO and that's why we are engaging very soberly. We are raising our issues in our own. That's definitely something that I want to hear. So I look forward to meeting you. CEO, make sure you organize. So on a bit I'll meet them. Yeah, I will organize those. Yes, and I'm also looking forward to reading the memorandum and and yes, looking forward to further engagement. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Asante. Ah, so as I've promised as your CEO, uh, we will make sure that a few of you guys uh, in the final planning uh, team that will consolidate idea. Mimi, I work with people and uh, those who have worked with us. If we are all progressive, then we walk together the journey. Sidio, uh, for a progressive future. Sidio, not for a... Zawa, zawa. So, ni mewashukuru sana. Uh, this is just a beginning, but uh, we will also work together. Another thing that I want to mention as we wind up, those ones who have innovative ideas from their communities and you feel that engaging with the National Youth Council, we can impact other communities. We may not have a lot of financial muscles, but we may connect you to a few doors here, here, or we may be able to, uh, to nurture you in the idea that you're doing. And I think Omboi has a passionate and has an experience of working with us. So for those of us with great innovative ideas, just reach forward, let's put our minds together and let's make sure that the youth of this country actually takes the benefits of this institution. Uh, wh what we are looking for at National Youth Council is actually to make this institution very strong, energetic, with a very clear advocacy agenda for the youth of this country. That is the only dream that we have. And I'm sure as we speak right now, as the National Youth Council, we've made key milestones. And some of you who have been engaging National Youth Council from before, you're able to see. You don't need to be lied to. Even just from even the office space, you will be able to say that there is change. I read well, we are at a two-corner office, at a two-corner boardroom. Yeah. Size, we can say that we have a boardroom. We didn't have a single staff. Now we have a uh, we have National Youth Council staff. We had very peanuts in terms of budgetary allocation. We couldn't even hold one event. But at least government is considering adding us resources. So the only gap that is remaining now, as we speak, is actually now the leadership from the council to the world level. And that's why I believe even the 18-year-old seated here stands to benefit much more. Because the people that we are looking at actually to come and take this leadership is those young people yes. with a progressive mind so that they can also make sure that they impact the policies, the laws, to make sure representative, of course, by your leadership, to sit together with my team and the team of the ministry. And now, so that you don't say that we presented a very good memorandum and the team from the ministry did not put uh, our feedback. We will make sure that your leadership is incorporated in actually the final deliberations of uh, enacting that, uh, that, those guidelines. Let's come together. Uh, Nora, let's come together and see 
uh, I think on our part, the budget may not be there, but I'm sure we can mobilize the resources for the sensitization. Mm -hmm. And there is no better person to sensitize these people than the people who has, who has been involved. Wow. Yeah. Fursa ni opportunity yetu as young people versus uh, virus. Virus ni imambo ya COVID-19. So this challenge, what we are going to do is, we are, low, we are mobilizing resources to come together so that young people can come up with solutions, especially for recovery of our economy. So not just the COVID to So and then now the most innovative, uh, the most innovative uh, solution that young people will be they were vetted, the most successful ones were awarded. And I virtual. So in fact we will share those of you, Kina Joshua, look at coming up with innovative solutions, especially geared towards recovering our economy in all spheres. Vijana wameweza kuunganika pamoja, wakaweza kuongea kwa sauti moja na wakatoa mapendekezo yao ya yale mambo ambayo wangependa iwe katika hiyo ratiba na mipangilio ya uchaguzi. Na leo tumeweza kupata nafasi ya kukutana na CEO wa National Youth Council chini ya uongozi wa waziri ambaye tumeongea pia na yeye Nadia na akatuhakikishia kwamba mapendekezo ambayo vijana waliweza kutoa yataweza kuwasilishwa katika muongozo wa uchaguzi ambao utaweza kufanyika katika nchi yetu ya Kenya sisi kama vijana tunataka kuwapongeza wale ambao waliweza kushirikiana nasi E, ili tuweze ku, kuwasilisha hoja zetu katika miongozo hii ambayo ilikuwa inawasilishwa siku ya leo we are gathered here to present a memorandum which, which is a joint memorandum on the NYC election guidelines first of all we are very happy that at least we can see light at the end of the tunnel now that election guidelines have been published and this means that elections are around the corner so we commend the efforts of the nyc office as well as the ministry for trying uh, uh, to ensure that we are going to have these elections what we want is we just don't want elections co2 bora elections tunataka elections bora and that is what we want. Uh, we want to ensure that NYC has full representation of young people across this country. NYC has the only official youth representative body in this country. I just want to add the youth from a NYC level to any other level to buy come 2022 elections wasimame na wa youth tusimame pamoja tusupportiane pamoja ukiona youth mwanzako na simama usimwangushe chini and that's why we are fighting for NYC to have elections so that this elections of, of NYC do you know can sasa ikue a base for where youth can stand and those who will win so that next time the next selective post we have youth we want this country Kenya to have majority of the elective seats supported by the youth. And that's my prayer and my wish. Comrades power. power. Comrades power. power. Youth for youth. Youth for youth. Youth for youth. Youth for youth. Youth for power. Comrades power. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Raphael Kai, 
Secretary for Kajiado County Youth Alliance. We are gathered today here to make sure that we have an NYC that is youth-led, an NYC by the youth for the youth, an NYC that will only focus and only focus on issues pertaining the well-being and empowerment of the youth of this country. We want to assure every youth out there that the memorandum has covered every inch of your complaints, every inch of your concerns that NYC from today henceforth, if this memorandum is adopted fully, will be an organization by the youth for the youth. For, for those who are, um, maybe have doubts, you can, you can visit, uh, you can visit uh, the website on NYC, it will be uploaded, the memorandum will be uploaded, and we believe that this is the way to go. Comrades, power! Power! Comrades, power! Power! Youth for youth! Youth, youth for youth! NYC! NYC! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Tata Zotieno. I'm the youth senator of Kisumu County. And on behalf of the youth of Kisumu County, I want to tell you that our interests, our hopes, and our aspirations are well covered in this document. And a time has come that from every village, from every estate, from every ward, from every constituency, the youth must be represented. Because because the reason why we are here is to ensure that we wish off the idea that has always been that the youth are only given kazi utaani za kuwasha mta. A time has come that now we must ensure that the youth are both in the offices, are both legally serving the interests of their fellow other youths. And that is why we are here. I want to say that as for, once the elections are done, we shall ensure that the NYC is legally constituted, shall have a council that will be able to serve in the interest and, and uh, direct, ensure that the interests of the youth in this nation are well served. Because the youth are the majority in this country. And unless we take the will, the zeal, to drive our economical agenda forward, the old men will not do anything for us. So a time has come that we must rise up, ensure that we serve our interest first. Thank you very much. Comrades, power! Power! Red power. Power. Uh, my name is Njuguna Njuguna and I want to confirm, mine is just to confirm to the youth of this country that in this document we have entrenched the values, the beliefs, the consciousness of all the youth in this country from all corners of this country. And we will ensure, we will keep in, tr we will keep in touch with the youth on the ground on sensitizing them on more about this document and to ensure that everything the else they want and want to understand about is captured and continues to, to and continues to embody their interests, their aspirations for the development of this country and in growth and nurturing of the youth for this country. Because we have for a long time be, been asked and told to wait for the for the leadership of this country, but we have decided to start by the National Youth Council, by calling out the youth to take part in the coming elections. Based on this National Youth Council election guidelines, we have captured your interest, we have given you an opportunity. You have the opportunity to come now and show and lead this country. You are all welcome. We have entrenched everything that you desire in this election guidelines. Thank you very much. Thank you. My name is John Wangai, the National Coordinator of Youth Senate Kenya. I want to thank uh, first and foremost the National Youth Council for giving us an opportunity. We know that the youths are 75% of this country and therefore our voices must be heard. Quoting the 32nd President of America, Frank D. Roosevelt, is saying that the government should prepare a future for the youth, not a, not, a not a youth for the future. We want to fill NYC in every village in this country. We want to fill NYC in every ward in this country. And that can only be possible if we can get good leadership. We can get good uh, delegates uh, to lead us through to ensure that there is full representation of young people through the NYC body. So I am very happy that uh, we have gathered here 188 young people participated in drafting this memorandum and we had representatives of 105 youth serving organizations that is power that is the power that we want comrade power, power. power. comrade power. power that is the kind of power that we want we want an organized youth leadership